If you are looking for a laptop for architecture, this is the video for you. Perhaps you are a new architecture student just checking out good laptops for your studies in architecture, or perhaps you didn't watch a video like this before you started architecture school and your laptop imploded right before final review and now you need to go buy a new one. Today's list, I am sharing the top laptops on the market in 2021 that you can use and buy and thrive in architecture architecture because trust me you are going to need a powerful laptop. Generally speaking being an architecture major you are going to have to spend a little extra money on your laptop just because you do need to handle very very powerful programs. There are so so many softwares that you are required to learn in architecture and this in turn is going to require a very powerful laptop. Another thing to keep in mind and I know it sucks is that your computer isn't going to last forever so if you you're going to a four-year undergrad. If you buy an uh, expensive laptop, it should last you four years, but don't expect it to last a decade. Softwares are constantly updating themselves. However, the computers don't. Don't blame me. The people who make your laptops just want your money. I'm so sorry. I know it sucks to hear, but it's just the world we live in, I suppose. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Nat here. I'm the creator behind Unraveling Architecture. Please keep in mind that for the laptops I'm about to mention, these general specifications you should apply to your laptop purchase no matter which one you go with. Your memory and graphics card are going to be the two most important aspects of your laptop purchase. Opt for a better graphics card if you can afford it and you need at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is non-negotiable. You need RAM. Try to aim for 32 or 64 even if you can afford it trust me you will thank yourself later the more you have the more your system is going to be able to handle these very robust softwares and applications i would also like to say and i know it's going to sting if you are a mac user but please opt for a windows operating system when i first entered college i too was a mac girl i loved my macintosh i loved apple however all of these programs that you use in architecture they were all designed for a windows computer. I'm sure you can get by on a Mac, but Windows, generally speaking, is just so much more powerful and you have so many options to customize everything and that is why I encourage you to opt for a Windows operating system. Windows 10 would be encouraged too. So from the software point of view, when a software gets updated, Mac users are always going to be a little bit late to the party. I know with Rhino, even anytime there is a new release or a new software update, Mac users always have to wait a couple months for them to actually get that software update just because they're a little late to the party. Number one is the ThinkPad 390. It has an i7 processor, 512 gigabytes of storage, 16 gigabytes of RAM, big screen, flawless reputation. A lot of architecture firms actually give their architects this laptop to carry around with them. The price also is actually pretty reasonable with the amount of power you're getting from a laptop. Great graphics card on this, so rendering on this baby should not be a problem for you. Number two is going to be your Dell XPS. I personally own this laptop. I have the Dell XPS 15. I've had it for the past three years. No issues. Love it. It's an i7 processor, 516 gigabytes of storage, 16 gigabytes of RAM. The hardware on this is pretty stellar and you have really great rendering capabilities with a powerful laptop like this one. In my mind, the Dell XPS series is a home run. They provide power and very sleek aesthetics. I know architects are all about aesthetics and with that infinity edge display, oh, I just love it a lot. I think also that's why a lot of people opt for Apple computers is because of the aesthetics. You can always also customize your hard drive if you require more storage. I also recommend this. And it also has an eight hour battery life. So if you have any questions about it, I can personally speak to this one. Number three is gonna be your Microsoft Surface Book 3. <laughs> i7 processor, two terabyte of storage crazy 16 gigabytes of ram this laptop 
Needless to say, is powerful and robust. It's a high quality laptop and is probably the fastest Surface laptop yet. You can definitely handle these large file sizes with no delays. Trust me, Rhino files get massive very, very quickly. And it can also be used as a tablet, so you kind of get best of both worlds. And this is great if you need to bring into meetings, client meetings, if you are a working professional or on a job site. Really, really great laptop. Only positive things to say about this one. Okay, number four is kind of of a mouthful. It is the MSI GE72 Apache Pro 242 laptop. That is a mouthful. This by far is the best laptop for architectural rendering. It's actually a gaming laptop, meaning that it was designed for gamers, which means you have a really great graphics card, which makes this laptop ideal for architects. i7 processor, great graphics card, like I mentioned, and the GPU is just so powerful on this thing. Definitely a top tier in today's market. It also has a dual cooling system, and trust me, when you're rendering a lot, your computer is really heating up. It's spicy, okay? There's a lot of spicy things going on when you render. So this du dual fan system is really great to have in a powerful computer like this one. It has a one terabyte hard drive and just has all the bells and whistles that you need. Number five is going to be your Dell Inspiron i7-559763BLK 7, gaming laptop. <laughs> i5 processor, which is okay, but it still has all the bells and whistles that you need. Great GPU capabilities. I would recommend upping the eight gigabytes of RAM if you can customize it, and it has a one terabyte hard drive. And the sixth option for you is going to be your cheapest option. You have no extra money, you're on a budget, and you're still looking for a laptop. I just wanna give you an option. This is the Lenovo IdeaPad 3. It has a lower processing power than the other laptops mentioned, which is fine given the price. 12 gigabytes of RAM, which can get you by, one terabyte of storage, and it's a great entry laptop, generally speaking, for architecture students. But also, if you are depending on a laptop, <laughs> There are some accessories that you can buy that will really be a game changer. Buy yourself a monitor. I'll link a couple of my favorites below. So I was the type of student that used the trackpad and no monitor throughout college. And then when I came home for COVID times, my senior year at Ohio State, I was sleeping on laptop accessories so hard because having that second monitor is incredible. An incredible experience. Also consider buying you know, all your cables you need for presentations, a wireless mouse, you will thank me later and you'll work so much faster than I ever did in undergrad. All right, well, that was it for today's video. Please let me know if you have any questions, especially about my Dell XPS laptop. Generally speaking, if you are opting for a laptop for its portability, these would be the best on the market but I have been using my desktop computer since I've been doing online school for the past year and I 11 out of 10 recommend it. That's it for today's video and I will see you guys next time. Love you guys.